I'm Michelle Martinez, your host for Park Bench. This is San Antonio's Parks and Recreation Show, and we're here to tell you about all the programs and activities we have planned for this spring. In this episode, we'll dance up a sweat. Wow, you're getting some speed there, yeah! <laughs> cool off with a dive into lifeguard training. Break out the binoculars for some bird watching. He's in those flowers up there. Yeah. See him? There he is. Give back to our community with the service project and learn how you can become a dog ambassador at your local dog park. But first, we're headed to Quayar Community Center to check out what's in store for the kiddos at our annual spring break camp. Spring break, spring break, spring break. Spring break's coming up, so tell us a little bit about spring break camp. Okay, well, we have spring break camp at 18 of our community centers for ages 6 to 14 during the week of spring break. It's one of the most affordable camps in San Antonio. Yeah, absolutely. It's $3 a day per child, and they get lunch and snack. And we're there 7.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. What kind of activities do the kids do? We do a plethora of activities for the kids. So um, we'll have art activities. Uh, we'll have science projects, maybe make some slime, which is like the kids' favorite. I mean, anything like that the kids love. Uh, we'll have nature activities. We'll go outside, get some leaves, some twigs, and then go inside and construct something from it. We'll have different sports. Dodgeball, of course, is very popular. Basketball games. Well, um, we'll take them outside, do some kickball. And then we'll do fitness activities. We start every day with a fitness uh, component. It could be stretching, it could be walking a track, it could be um, some cardio, um, or even some strength building. My favorite thing to do during spring break is play basketball and play with my friends at the park. My favorite thing to do in spring break is basketball and volleyball. I think kids love spring break camp because it gives them something to do. They're not at home, bored at home. Uh, they can come out, they make new friends, or they get to come back and see the friends that they made at the last camp, and they, it's almost like a little mini reunion at the community center. And the parents love it because they can still go to work. Um, we'll take care of the kids, and then usually they'll come, they'll pick them up, and they're tired. And they're ready to go home <laughs> and go to sleep for the day. Um, before we know it, summer will be here, so tell us a little bit about summer youth program. Well, our summer youth program is an eight-week day camp. So we'll have um, different start dates based on our, our school calendar. So we look at the school districts and we'll do um, start dates based on that, to really to help the parents out. We do have two different fee levels for our program. And so for a parent to get that reduced fee, they'll have to come to our info sessions to pre-qualify. So we'll start offering those March 2nd and we'll go through the end of May to really um, have a long time frame. So parents, just for convenience factor, they can come out, we'll give them all the information of where and when to register, and then just make sure when they do register, they'll qualify for that reduced fee. So what's included with registration? So uh, we're there Monday through Friday from 7.30, 5.30, and then that one fee covers the eight weeks. Depending on the site that a participant is registered at, either breakfast and lunch is included or lunch and snack is included. So where can parents find more information about Summer Youth Program and Spring Break Camp? Visit our website, saparksandrec.com. Uh, we'll have more information coming soon for our Summer Youth Program. Registration should start in April, and then Spring Break Camp is already online. So log on now and register for uh, whatever site you'd like. When visiting the dog park with our furry friends, please remember the following rules to keep everyone safe and happy. All dogs must be on a leash when entering and exiting the park. Please remember to keep the big dogs in the big dog park and the little dogs in the small dog park for their safety. Dogs must be healthy and up to date on required vaccinations. And remember, you are responsible for picking up after your pup. Next, we're headed to Oscar Pettis Memorial Park for Sweat and Serve. Well, today we're here with our Sweat and Serve program here at Oscar Perez Memorial Park. Sweat and Serve is a new program and what we do is Fitness in the Park workout followed by a volunteer service project. Thank you guys for coming out today. I know the weather is not desirable, but we'll get warmed up and going. We'll do an awesome community project. Thank you guys for investing your time and in, into our communities, into our parks. We are exercising to do some healthy stuff for our body, and then we're going out and giving back to the community, helping um, beautify some of the parks that might need some help. Every event is unique and it's gonna be different. We'll be doing mulching, painting, litter pickup, basically whatever needs to be done at the park at that time, we'll take care of it. And we still have about two and a half minutes left, so you're about halfway through. Today was an interval training workout. That's a high intensity workout with really short periods of high exercise followed by um, short periods of rest. Workout was great. Uh, I really like how you can pace yourself. You know, we have people of varying athletic ability, and so the workout's really diverse, so you can go at your own pace, and I love that part about it. It got us warmed up, and um, so we're not freezing when we're doing all the work, so. 
I love to see the involvement from the community because not only are we getting people who are coming out here to, to help beautify the parks and then we get to introduce them to the fitness in the park program, but then vice versa. We get people that come work out with us every week but maybe have never done a volunteer service project. So that's the big thing is just introducing these new programs to people and, and having them give back to the community. Uh, today we're mulching and uh, physical labor is actually one of my favorite things to do, strangely enough. One of the best workouts, I think. The service project here is definitely keeping us nice and warm. So everything from the shoveling the mulch, getting it into the wheelbarrow, carrying it over to the trees, even the people who are using the rakes and trying to spread out the mulch, we're continuously working. I think we might all be warmer now than we were when we started. <laughs> Our service project today was mulching the trees around the walking trail. We accomplished 120 wheelbarrows full of mulch. I think we've done an excellent job and hopefully the trees will flourish and grow to be really big and we'll just enjoy them for years to come. The Sweat and Surf schedule along with all other Fitness in the Park classes are available on our website www.saparksandrec.com or you can download the SA Parks Fitness app and you'll have all of our classes at your fingertips. for the busy summer and hiring over 200 lifeguards. We're here at the San Antonio Natatorium where the Parks and Recreation Department offers training and certification for lifeguards. Let's go inside and check it out. So um, we are in need of 280 lifeguards to work at our 24 outdoor pools this summer. Being a lifeguard is a great summer job. We hire at 16 years and up. If you don't know how to swim, we will teach you how to swim, we'll condition you and get you ready to pass that pretest. The lifeguard pretest is a 300 yard swim. You can swim freestyle, front crawl, brush stroke. Um, it's not time, so you can take your time. The second portion is you have to retrieve a 10 pound brick in a minute and 40 seconds in our diving well, um, which is 13 feet. Then the third portion of the test is you must tread water for two minutes using no hands, and you just gotta stay afloat. You'll learn your life-saving skills, which you'll get your certification as a lifeguard, and then also you'll get your CPR, AED, and first aid certification for the professional rescuer, since we will be working around water. And so lifeguard positions are paid positions, and how much do um, you pay? They are. Our lifeguard positions this year are starting out at 10.35 an hour, 40 hours a week. Uh, we hire at 16 and up. As long as you're able to pass the pretest and get certified, you can work for us. We're very flexible on our schedule. We have multiple shifts. But we usually try to find um, pools where they live in. Um, so they're, they're living and working in their communities and they really like it. And then they make friends, right? They, yeah, they meet so, each other and bond. So they and... kind of forget that they're having fun at work. So, um, <laughs> they enjoy their job so much. Right, right, right. Yes, <laughs> yes. 
I like being a lifeguard because I feel like I contribute to the community. People depend on us for our jobs. We're the people who are making sure that everyone is safe. And although we want to prevent accidents, sometimes they do happen. And if we're not alert, those accidents can turn into something worse. And we don't want that to happen. So we're always on our toes. We're always alert, always making sure that everyone is safe. I feel this job helped me a lot personally because I came into this job not having any work experience at all. You just learn a lot of the skills that you need for other jobs in the world. Like you learn people skills, you learn about responsibility, you learn about maintenance and stuff like that. I definitely encourage people to join our team and become a lifeguard. For more information on how to become a lifeguard, visit saparksandrec.com. Dive into spring break with swim camp at the San Antonio Natatorium. Activities include swim lessons, arts and crafts, games, and more. Camp is for ages six to 14 years old and is $3 per child per day. Lunch and snack are provided by the San Antonio Food Bank. Due to capacity, enrollment is limited, so be sure to sign up soon. The Natatorium will also offer free open swim to residents from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. during spring break. For more information on swim camp, visit saparksandrec.com. Spring is in the air and it's a perfect time to explore the natural areas. I'm here at Frederick Wilderness Park for a hike. Follow me. All right, Kelsey, well, tell us a little bit about natural areas in general. I know there are several natural areas in San Antonio. Yeah, so we have nine natural areas in San Antonio in total, um, and they are they exist to really help preserve the unique natural resources of the San Antonio area. What makes them different than city parks? So natural areas are different from city parks because the focus is really on preserving the natural resources and, and the habitat for wildlife and plant species. But it's also just a great opportunity for people who need, you know, maybe a break from the busy city life to get out and really find a restful spot in nature. And so what kind of activities can people do in natural areas? Uh, people can hike, uh, they can bike uh, at Medina River. It's, it's right on the river, so there's fishing opportunities. Um, and that location also has a campground that can be rented. And we've seen a lot of people out hiking today. Um, what about hiking trails? So there's about 40 miles of trails within our natural areas in total, but through most of our natural areas, we have the Salado Creek Greenway and Medina River Greenway that flows through. And so that gives uh, additional mileage for people to hike and bike on. What about birding? Birding is a great opportunity at all of our natural areas. Frederick Wilderness Park has your golden cheek warbler, which is an endangered bird species that nests only in central Texas in the hill country. So it's a unique place to get to go watch an endangered species. And we've got some great birders here today who can kind of show you uh, how, how to do birding and, and you know what to look for and how to ID birds. I'm excited. Let's let's go. Let's let's go birding. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi. Hi. So glad you wanted to come out and go birding with us I'm today. I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're really excited because we love it when new people come <laughs> into birding. We are bird watchers, birders, whatever you want to call us. He can do the tit. He can do the tit mouse. <laughs> do the tit mouse. It's just a little tit mouse. It's a very simple call. So that one I can do. Uh, this park has some birds that are really special which all birds are special, so this time of year we'll come out to hear them and uh, watch them. Let's see, these guys now are only about that big, so you gotta see some motion. There he is. You see him? Yeah. Where do you see him? Over here. All right, there we go. Yeah, you see the green Oh, on the very top, I see him. You see the big tree in the background. Oh, I see him, he's sitting right yeah. on top. He's right up above. Oh, he's at yeah. the top. He's right at the very top. He's in those flowers up there. Yeah. See? There he is. Little he's got a great um, little gray guy, a little pink on the sides. Yeah. And he's got that crazy mohawk, a little black crest that comes up and down. And he's singing for all he's worth. Isn't that cool? Wow. Now, oh, he, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, wow. he's, coming he's coming to Tom. Oh, he's right here. Yeah. Or he's going to come and peck Tom on the head. We lead very uh, involved lives, families, and work, and all these things. So sometimes we just need to unplug, just go out and find a quiet corner and sit and, and breathe you the hold, air. Hold still and be quiet, yeah. and you'll be amazed what's going on. For more information on upcoming events in our natural areas, visit saparksandrec.com.
over 240 city parks across San Antonio. We love our city parks because we play, run, spend time with family, smile, laugh. It's a place to gather with friends and neighbors. We walk, enjoy fresh air, spend time outdoors, celebrate traditions, do your part, help clean your park. On your way out, throw it out. Hey y'all, I'm here at Berta Amagir Dance Studio near beautiful Woodlawn Lake Park. The city offers all kinds of fun dance classes for adults, seniors, and kids. Let's check it out. We are the oldest municipal dance program in the United States, and we're actually celebrating our 85th year this year of dance program. So tell us a little bit about what kind of classes are taught. We teach flamenco, Mexican folklorico, and then in the contemporary side, um, the ballet, hip hop, and jazz. What age groups do you teach? It's for all ages. We start the children at five years of age, um, all the way to senior citizens. So there's something for everyone. We have generations and generations of people just go into this program. Tell me a little bit about flamenco. That's a big question. Flamenco is both a musical and dance style, typical of Andalusia, the southern region of Spain. It's a very disciplined art form, a lot of passion. The flamenco dancer's whole body is a musical instrument. There is a total interplay between guitar, singer, and dancer in music. Um, okay, so this is a question I have for you. And I've always wanted to learn how to do this too. Okay. What is castanet? It's an instrument that's put on your hands and the pitch of the sound could be different, but it's a percussion instrument that just enhances the dance. So Sonia, will you teach me some castanet moves? Absolutely. <laughs> so let's go to first position and let's start with our first finger. Ready? And one, 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 good. There you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, now try not to move your arms and try to bend your fingers a little bit more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, you're getting some speed there, yeah! Very nice. Good job, good job. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is a lot of work. For more information on all of our dance classes, visit saparksandrec.com. Registration for spring session begins in March. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Summer Youth Program serves thousands of participants across the city at community centers and school sites. This affordable eight-week program is held Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. for ages 6 to 14 at community center sites and 6 to 12 at school sites. Youth are active and engaged throughout the day with activities that include sports, craft projects, games, fitness, reading, and math and science enrichment. For dates and more information, head to saparksandrec.com.
Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is looking for volunteers to help keep our dog park safe, clean, and fun for all of our furry friends. We're here at downtown Madison Square Park to learn more about the Dog Ambassador Program. So the Dog Park Ambassador Program was created for the patrons that use the parks, the patron safety, as well as the dogs. We have volunteers who go out and get trained at ACS or just to learn some behaviors uh, that the dogs have, some tendencies. Um, so that our volunteers can go out with us and be our friendly um, advocates for safe usage at the parks. What are some of the safety reminders that people need at the dog park? So the number one thing that we're seeing is people not picking up their poop. So that's something that we're promoting not just in the dog park ambassador program, but just citywide. As far as safety, just being constantly vigilant of their pets as if they were a child. Um, we have a lot of incidents where patrons are just unleashing your dog and just going about their business and their dogs are being mischievous, causing problems, and they just pay no mind to it, so it becomes problematic. Right. We see a lot of those incidents. Children in the dog park, we want the children as well as the, as well as the pets next to the parents. Some of these animals are fairly large, and when they're running 100 miles yeah. an hour back and forth, kids are getting trampled, kids are getting injured, as well as um, adults. How do dog ambassadors help advocate for safety in parks? They're there to be our friendly resources to welcome dogs and pet owners, kind of introduce not just the patron, but the dog themselves yeah. to the dog park. I am a dog ambassador and I love it because I get to meet all the dogs. Plus I'm always at the dog park with my dogs. So this helps to get my dogs out to the park while I'm working <laughs> and um, just out and get out there and meet other dogs as well. If you're looking to volunteer, this is a great program to get involved in. You get to be in the park with the dogs and pass out treats and do silly games that we come up with. <laughs> what other events do you have planned for the spring? There's a big Festive Tales event at McAllister. So the Dog Park Ambassador Program will be on hand as well. Mm -hmm. As far as us hosting our next event, we're gonna have a really cool event that I'm super excited about. Uh, uh, May the 4s be with you. It will take place on the 4th of May. Uh, costume contest, um, several vendors on site, talking about nutrition, educating folks on nutrition for their pets. Um, maybe some groomers on hand. Just, it's going to be a really it's fun It's going to be a big event for us. Yeah, <laughs> definitely come out for that event. For more information on the Dog Park Ambassador Program, including how to sign up, visit saparksandrec.com. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is now hiring for the Summer Youth Program. The Summer Youth Program team helped develop youth and lead them in activities such as sports, arts, and team building games. The department is currently hiring for recreation assistants, recreation specialists, and recreation instructors. If you are energetic and want to spend the summer being active and involved with San Antonio youth, then visit the City of San Antonio's Career Center for a complete job description and requirements. That's it for now. There's so much fun to be had in our parks. Join us this spring for everything you saw here today and more. And as always, visit saparksandrec.com for details.